Hi, David Morley here to share some tips with you on how to start your journey off on the right foot in a matrix organisation like Transport for New South Wales. Now, as we know, a matrix isn't the most natural or easiest place to work in. It has its own unique set of challenges. And so when I was thinking about it, I was trying to reflect on what would be the most appropriate or the best three points that I could share with you that would help you start your journey off in the right way. So in this short video, I'll share with you three tips. The first is to have a collaborative mindset. The second is to always assume positive intent. And then finally, be accountable. So our first tip is to have a collaborative mindset. So in other words, make collaboration your central driver for how you get things done. Now, we know that in a matrix, there are things like you know, double reporting lines. There's uh, the responsibility to get work done through other people. We need to work cross-functionally. We need to rely on resources from other teams, from other people. And so that means that collaboration is central to everything that we do. Now, there are two mindsets that we can have you know, in general, and one is a competitive mindset, which is really kind of natural in some ways. But when we're in that competitive mindset, we start from a win-lose position. So we're always seeking to win, or we're always feeling like we're losing. Now that just does not work in an environment where collaboration is central to how we get things done. Now the flip side is to have a collaborative mindset, and that's starting from the position of win-win. Now. Here's the thing, when we're in that competitive mindset, in that win-lose mindset, there's always a loser. And you know what? Most of us will lose most of the time if that's the way we're operating. But in a collaborative uh, operation or in a collaborative mindset, what we have is the opportunity for most of us to win most of the time. Now, our next point is one that probably applies to all walks of life and not just a matrix environment and it is our ability to assume positive intent. Now, in a matrix organization, just like in any organization, there will be opportunities for conflict, to misunderstand information, to perhaps hear information for the first time in a setting where you perhaps feel a little blindsided and that's natural and that's normal. And in a matrix environment, sometimes there are more opportunities for those things to happen. Now, when they happen, we've got some choices to make. You know, do we just react to what we've heard? Do we just react to what we've seen? Or do we take that mental step back and do we assume positive intent? And really simply, all that means is that we're assuming that the other person or the other party are operating from a position of, if you like, you know, positivity, being constructive in what they've done, but not seeking to harm, not seeking to embarrass or to cause problems. Now, being able to respond in that way just simply means that we can reframe in our own mind and therefore we're able to make a smarter decision around how we respond. And if we think of our first tip around collaboration and that collaborative mindset, it just simply means that we can continue that collaboration momentum. We can keep the door open to good relationships, healthy relationships far more easily. So we assume positive intent. Now, our final point, is all about accountability. Now, I'm not just talking about being accountable for getting the job done. That's what we're here to do. But the real accountability comes in how we do what we do. So it's about uh, being proactive. It's about being explicit in sharing what's going on for us. Now, when I talk about being proactive, you know, if things don't make sense, or if you are a bit confused, or if you're unsure, if you're unhappy, you can sit back, you know, and you can just wait for someone to spot that and you can wait for someone to try and draw that out of you. But if we're in an environment that relies on collaboration, that relies on uh, the nature of relationships to get work done, that's not really being helpful for anyone. So what I'm talking about here is being honest around when we're unclear being honest around when things don't make sense and being proactive in going after the information you need, being prepared to ask the questions and being prepared to share when you really don't get it because you know what, that's okay. What's not okay is when we're not sure, when we don't get it and we try to still forge our way, our way forward 
when at the same time knowing that we're unclear around the direction that we're taking, but we need to rely on how we collaborate. We need to rely on other functions and other people to get, thing, get things done. And what we're doing without realizing it is kind of pulling other people on that unclear path. So being accountable is more than just what we're here to do. It's about being proactive. It's about owning how we're feeling and it's about sharing and being explicit. So they are our three key points that will help get your journey started in the best way possible in a matrix organization. So really it's about having that collaborative win-win mindset. It's about assuming positive intent and it's about being accountable. So I hope these tips really do set you off in the right direction. Thank you.